we return to Ier for the first day of the World Star Championship. Final preparations for the boats in the small French port. As for the athletes, perhaps an equal measure of excitement and anxiety. After waiting for a long, the wind came. As for the athletes, time to head to the race course. And so, before the race commenced, the athletes sailed their boats for a while in order to make those final, all-important adjustments. The first race start of the day was recalled since the boats in the center were OCS. Lot of stress for the sailors in the first start since the first race means a lot. Poland's Klaus Nierwicz and Zimmermann from Switzerland had the best start, yet even though everybody kept sailing upwind, the race had already been abandoned. Straight afterwards, the wind abated and the athletes had to wait for over an hour. When the wind returned again, the race was started again. However, a general recall was soon signaled. Once again, the fleet decided to start a bit earlier. Finally, in the one and only race of the day, Diego Negri started on the committee boat side. Immediately after the start, he decided to tack and headed to the right side with one boat from Switzerland and one from Netherlands few meters on leeward. In the first upwind, the weather had many shifts, so it was really hard to predict what the result would be. First one to round the top mark was Francis Xavier Rohart. He was followed by Ireland's O'Leary and Lou Frederick from Sweden. During downwind, the wind abated and the sailor from Sweden managed to leave behind the Irish while the French created safe distance between him and the others. In the end, Xavier arrived first at the gate and chose to round the mark that led him to the left side of the race course. The Swede and the Irish, on the other hand, moved towards the right side. Few meters behind, Austria's Hans Spitzauer was trying his best to stay on top. At the same time, Germany's Stanjek was having some fierce battles with Poland's Kausnierwix. Finally, the French sailor again rounded the top mark on top, maintaining a significant distance from the Swede. But would Lou Frederick aim at all costs to protect this second position from the Irish following behind him? Or would he still attempt to overtake Xavier Rohart? The rest of the boats had a very crowded rounding indeed. They were all so close to each other. Robert Scheidt rounded within the top 10, just behind Ian Percy. The athletes from Brazil and Britain are performing excellently in all events, and both want to end up world champions for 2012. Scheidt really gave it his all in surpassing Percy. He decided to sail lower in the beginning, aiming for some gust from the left. But would this be the right decision? In the end, Xavier Rohart came first ahead of his opponent from Sweden, and Scheidt had to accept the spot just behind Percy. They were 7th and 6th respectively. Let's have a look at the results of the day. One race only for the sailors, who have five more days ahead. Join us again to check if these positions will shift after tomorrow's races.